So I'm here with John again. Woo, woo, woo. Today we are gonna be installing our solar. So we got one solar panel, our mounts, and then other random stuff in that box over there. So let's get to it. And I'm gonna video while John does all the work. Just kidding. Solar time, Emily. All right, so we got the wrong nuts, so we're going to the store. Don was right. All right, so three hours later, we got some of the nuts that we needed. So that's why we bought these curvy ones, the curve mounts instead of the ones that came with the solar panels. All right, we got one solar panel ready to be mounted. So we just have two more to do with what we just did over here. Well, we're done this part. Now to go mount them onto the roof. You ready, Meg? So ready. Okay. And then so there'll be one that's facing straight up, one that's this way, one that's that way. I kind of feel like that's kind of cool depending on where the sun is. Yeah, because as be... it moves across the sky, you'll get, you'll get more on one than the other. Yep. So you got plenty of room to put six up here if you need them. Yeah, and we could keep going down the back yeah. if we wanted. No, it's just for an experiment. Let's turn the side piece. Okay. Shane, what are you doing right now? I am tightening our solar wires into this charge controller. And I want you to know that anything that I'm doing is because John is telling me to do it, <laughs> not because I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> That's it, we now officially have solar. We are done. <laughs> Can you imagine if it was that easy? <laughs> <laughs> no idea. This is gonna go onto the inverter. <laughs> Red is positive, black is negative. And then, tighten it up. Here and then your three panels get connected. Brilliant. This is for ground, this is for positive, this has got all the fuses on it. Here we go, this awesome panel. I'm ready. You're about to see your son fall off the bus. <laughs> When you get done pushing, click on that. Okay, like that? Yep. Holy, 
really tighten the solar panel. I've All right, we just got a little bit of cardboard covering the solar panels so that there's no power that draws out while we're hooking everything up. That's true. <laughs> all right so we have all three panels all three panels are hooked up One or the other one. So these are the fuses, and then so these, these positive ones get connected into the fuse. Let's do that with each one. Like that. Yep. This one just got to stretch all the way. So we're gonna tie these up and hide them underneath. See where that crack is underneath? You might be able to run a wire tie in here. Okay. So now we're gonna put a hole inside the bus, put these wires through, and inside our utility closet. and stuff when they seal. I'm going to do a seal it to the bus first. John pooped on the roof. Great. It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna fit. good right there. I love it. Today's a day. If I can get this in here, but... oh, you put that on. Yes. No. Ooh, it's so nice. It's a magnet. Yeah. Charge controller. Yeah, it should. Cool. 
99% capacity in batteries. So go um, pull that cardboard down, and it should start charging at 0.4 amps, which is just a maintenance charge, and you're at 14.2 volts. So right now you're getting 21. Eighteen point two volts from your panels from the sun, which is partly shaded right now. So what does that mean? It just means that's how much voltage you're getting from the panels. Your charge controller takes that voltage and then puts it into a charge voltage for your batteries, which is currently at 14.3. So it's charging your batteries. It's charging our batteries. We are the best team ever. So we're going to open up our own shop and start doing this for other people. Probably not. But that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for your help. We did it. We put solar on our bus and it's working. Right. Wow!